Welcome back to Emily's Paper Caper. It is day 25 of 30 days of sketches. Today's sketch is by Brandy Jo, and you can find her on Instagram at scrappy.boymama is her Instagram handle. For this layout, I picked four photos taken during the April 8th solar eclipse. I decided to put my page title on one of the photos. I tried to find photos that I could create, that I could cut to four by four, but I didn't quite do it. So this will be serve as, this larger photo will serve as also the page title. I really like how Brandy has the chevrons and I cut some chevrons out of the paper strips that I'll use as banners behind the photos. I punch them using this chevron punch. So I'll em embellish the layout with those chevrons at the top and bottom of the page. And I did a little bit of journaling here on a square of scrap paper. I just put the date of the eclipse, noted that the next eclipse is not until 2044, and that the moon passes between the sun and the earth. For the letter stickers, I use the stickers from this. It is um, persimmon, basic gray sticker sheet from 2013 and there were plenty of letters left and I'm going to use this on tomorrow's layout as well for that page title. Let's go ahead and get our banner edges created here. I'm just going to eyeball them. I think they'll turn out okay and now that I cut one I can use that little piece as the template to get them all pretty much in unison. It might look a little funny if they were not very similar. I picked my background paper. It has a bunch of circles and it has the blue sky. We had a perfectly blue sky for this eclipse. And the circles kind of made me think about the sun and the moon. So I thought it would be a good page background here. I'm gonna put the chevrons aside for now. And I'll try to get the photos and the banners assembled here. I think this photo, I can trim a little bit off of that side. And then they'll almost align perfectly. Maybe I can maybe I can trim it so that things line up. I have to trim a little of there and a little there to get it to to get it to line up with this bottom photo. Let's see. I'm measuring with scissors. It's pretty bold, isn't it? <laughs> Worst case scenario, I print another picture. Okay, I can see my little scissor mark there. that's going to work out. 
trying to think, should I adhere the banners and then the photos to the banners or the photos to the banners? I don't think it matters that much. Let's get the banners down first. Someone told me that the pink version of the ATG adhesive gun is being discontinued. As far as I can tell, this one, the 714, is still available. I've been linking it in my video description, so it is still on Amazon. It's my understanding that the pink one that you used to be able to find at Mar Michael's, I don't know if they have them anymore, but apparently that's being discontinued. But this one is still available, so if you've thought about getting one of these, check out the link in the description of this video. I think that my journaling can just go I'm trying to decide where to put it. I think maybe down in the corner. And then we'll get our chevrons. I had two purple chevrons. Oh, fell on the floor. Go ahead and get some adhesive on all six chevrons and then we can focus on placing them. Because I ended up putting the journaling in this bottom right corner, I'll switch up the chevrons as far as which way they're pointing. think on the sketch it shows them pointing to the right on the bottom and to the left on the top but I'll do the opposite because I decided that that would be the journaling over here hopefully that makes sense I think it does Let me know what you think of my take on today's sketch. Keep on scrapping and paper crafting.